Scientists are racing against time to save the coral reef in the Maldives. They have now come up with a plan. They are regrowing cor corals using fragments of destroyed coral heads. But will this plan prove to be a game changer? Our next report has more. On the tiny island of Fuladu, Aya Nassim and the Maldives Coral Institute are involved in a labor of love. They are painstakingly repairing and rebuilding a reef, threatened by sediment from a nearby harbor development. It's almost like a double whammy. The reef was already threatened by bleaching events, meaning the corals were boiling to death due to rising sea temperatures. The team knows the climate crisis is real and they are on the front line. At the moment, we're, re we're moving towards a 1.5 degree rise of, in global temperatures before um, by 2030. And at, this, at that rate, uh, corals of the world will be um, reduced by more than 90%. So unless we can drastically reduce the global ca carbon emissions, coral reefs will not survive. And neither can Maldives. The way to save the reef is by growing new corals from fragments of destroyed coral heads. Those new corals are then transported and reattached to the original reef. Reefs are a natural sea defense against ever more violent storm surges caused by global warming. Out at sea, scientists from the International Necton Mission are looking for other answers. Could corals found at greater depths be transplanted to the shallows to help replace what has been lost? I think the jury's still out on that and we'll know more by the end of the expedition when all the data have been uh, looked at. Uh, and intriguingly, 30 meter transects carried out with the ROV do seem to show some very healthy coral populations. So it may be that the deep reef refugia hypothesis holds out certainly down to sort of 30 meters, maybe not, not deeper. Necton is a deep sea research mission. They are venturing into depths hitherto unexplored. Almost a thousand meters below the ocean's surface. The idea is to map and understand this virgin territory to better decode how organisms interact deep down. Corals feature prominently in that plan. The Maldives is home to around 2,500 coral reefs. It's the dominant ecosystem in this country, but global warming is slowly killing them off. A 2016 study found that 60% of the coral reefs were hit by bleaching. Remember, that was six years back. Global warming has only gotten worse in the time since. Coral reefs are key to sustaining marine life around the Maldives. Without it, the equilibrium will be disturbed. So, the findings from the Necton mission will be closely watched by the likes of Aya Nassim. South Asia Bureau, Weon, World is One. Weon, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.